The secret to the perfect honey chicken is a really good batter surrounding the chicken pieces and a perfectly balanced sauce. Yes, you've probably tried it at your local Chinese takeaway store, but boy, it tastes so much better when you make it at home. So two elements to this dish for the batter, two eggs into a bowl, and I'm going to whisk this with some soy sauce. Now use a good quality soy sauce. This is going to season the chicken, and also the egg and the soy sauce combination is going to tenderize the chicken. I'm going to whisk that and really whisk it well so everything's combined. No salt required because the soy sauce is salty enough. And now for the chicken. My choice of chicken is chicken breast because it cooks so fast. Two chicken breasts for this recipe. Place them on a separate chopping board. And then I'm going to cut it into the classic shape, which is just big cubes. So we'll cut this into four strips. And the chicken breast is great for this because it is so lean. And then we'll turn it around and then cut them, making sure that they are quite even so they cook evenly. And the next. Now I'm going to place this into our egg and soy mixture and then with your hands, give that a good mix and coat it. All right, that's looking good. We'll just allow that to sit there for a moment while we get onto our sauce. A lot of the ingredients that I'm adding is already in your pantry. So just a quarter of a cup of water along with a quarter of a cup of honey and a good little trick to get your honey out much easier is just to warm it up slightly in the microwave. Now for some extra sweetness, a little bit of ketchup or tomato sauce and some five spice, star anise, cinnamon and clove. And I'll add a little bit of sesame oil now and I'll add the rest later so we really taste that sesame. Now for some lemon, it is a key ingredient. I'm adding some of the zest and then lots of the juice, so the juice of one lemon. And I'm just gonna squeeze that straight into our pot, just catching any seeds so we don't have to pick them out later. And the second half. Now this is quite thin, so once we put it on the heat and allow it to start bubbling away, it will thicken up. So this is gonna take about 10 minutes. Keep an eye on it and you'll see it transform. It'll start to go glossy. Now for our chicken. This mixture of egg, soy and corn flour is very traditional in Chinese cooking and it really does give a great batter to the chicken. So incorporate that, folding it in and keep mixing until there's no little lumps of corn flour in the batter because you don't want a little pocket of dried flour after we've cooked it. And it does seem like there's quite a lot of batter on this, but no problems at all because when I start to add it to the oil, I'm just going to drain it off a little. That's looking good. I've been preheating some vegetable oil in my wok. You want the oil to be at about 180 degrees. Being always very careful when using oil, drain off the chicken and don't throw it in because that's very dangerous but very gently get as close as you can to the oil and then drop it in. And these are the bubbles we're looking for. It's not overly bubbling, just gentle bubbles. Now don't put all the chicken in at once. We're going to do this in batches. I'd say for this amount, two or three batches. And then once it's golden brown, I'm going to remove it and place it on a rack to drain. much this sauce has reduced. It's glistening, it's glossy, it's thick, which is fantastic because you do want it to coat the pieces of chicken. And this is just warm. I don't want it to be piping hot. And that goes for the chicken as well. The chicken has been resting for about two to three minutes, so it's cooled down a little bit. And now it's time to toss it all together. So grab the chicken and I drain it on a rack like this just so it doesn't go too soft on the base so the air is circulating around each individual piece of chicken. And now for the sesame seeds, a good handful in the chicken and a small amount of that sesame oil, three or four little dribbles and we can mix it all together. And now it's really starting to resemble that honey soy chicken that we used to get 
from the local Chinese store. Always tastes better at home. A little bit of rice to serve it with, a good amount on top. And a few more pieces. And if you like, not necessary because there are a lot of sesame seeds, but for some extra crunch and to make it look extra special, a few more sesame seeds on the top. Now you can serve this with some Asian greens or even better, a little crunchy slaw with cabbage and a few herbs through it. This is what I like to call little nuggets of glossy goodness I can't resist. Mm. 10 out of 10.